Hey YouTube, Briar Barbarian here. I'm out in the country again, as you can see, about an hour south of Montreal. And uh, I just wanted to talk to you today about, I'm writing it as a review, but it's more of my love, love affair with Seattle Pipe Club's Plum Pudding. If there's one blend that I want to be stranded with on an island, and I have to choose one, it's this guy right here. Let me tell you, this is uh, one of my favorites. Uh, pure joy to smoke. Um, there are some negatives, but for somebody who likes English or, or Balkan, this is the, the best of both worlds. This is an English Balkan pressed into a crumble cake. Pure gold. I love it. Uh, can't get enough of it. Just to give you an idea, this is the good chunk of the crumble cake. Love it. Smells amazing. The Latakia, the Balkans. Oh, it's like, almost like molasses. It's just, oh, it's sweet and Latakia. And so basically what's in it, it's a rich blend of Latakia, Orientals, Virginias with Perique and a little something extra. Um, it almost has the texture when it comes out of a fresh tin of being somewhat a little bit sticky, especially when you're breaking it up. And I would recommend letting it dry out a little bit. Um, I've, this particular one's been in a tin, uh, mason jar, sorry, for at least two years and is still moist. Um, definitely needs some air time to dry a little bit. And even then you will be relighting it a few times before you get a really good ash. But once it starts going, a lot of flavor, a lot of, a lot of great things you feel in your mouth just coated with Latakia and the Balkan. Balkan does, uh leaves like a, a creamy film in your mouth. Very flavorful, I love it. The only negative, it does burn hot a lot of times. It almost doesn't matter what pipe you use, at some point in time it'll start to burn hot. Um, especially if it's been in there for a while, after I'd say a good 30 minutes, I would recommend stirring up the ash and then retamping it, almost like stoking a fire, shaking up the wood um, to get that flavor back. And I mean full flavor. And once you do it, you'll realize what I'm saying. It's just like the flavor just comes right back in. Just a, it's a great blend. It's one of my favorites. And uh, I got to tip my hat to the Seattle Pipe Club when it comes to this particular blend. Um, I really enjoy it. The only problem for me, being a Canadian, I originally, like this tin itself is... Over two years ago, I got it from Pipes and Cigars. This was back before they were sold to somebody else. I think they're based in New York now, I'm not sure. But before, they would ship to Canada. Now they no longer do that. So for a long time, I couldn't get, couldn't get plum pudding. It just drove me crazy. If I really wanted it bad enough, I would have to ship it to my sister-in-law, li who lives in Portland, Maine, and she would have to ship it to me, which is an absolute pain. So now, uh, smokingpipes.com had it. But as of um, Easter 2015, they don't have the uh, offer it anymore because you could only get it in bulk, which was either Mississippi River or Plum Pudding in their bulk section. They no longer have it. And I was shocked what's going on here. I had to call them. So I called to uh, customer service at smokingpipes.com. Very friendly. They're always great to talk to. I love that place. And if you ever go to uh, Low Country, South Carolina, the name of the place is Low Country Pipe and Cigar. That is smokingpipes.com. And it is a great place to go to. Their inventory, it's very laid back. The people there are excellent. I can't say enough good things about Low Country Pipe and Cigar. So I called them at smokingpipes.com and uh, they told me that, thank God, but it's going to be no longer in bulk form or they possibly might, but for now it's coming in tins and they're having somebody tin it. So they will be, you will be seeing it again at some point in time after, at some point in time after Easter 2015, uh, they will be sent, selling it in tin form, which is fantastic because this, uh, I couldn't get this anymore, tins, whether it would be Mississippi River or Plum Pudding. So I was very ecstatic to hear that. Yes, you can still get it. Because it was a big shock to me 
uh, when I went to the bulk section and they no longer had it, it uh, kind of a kick in the stomach. But it will be coming back, thank God. Um, so yeah, it's, this is a special tobacco, at least for me, but I find not for other people. Because the tin note is, there's so much going on. It's so rich, so powerful, I just want to either eat it or smoke it right away. It's just like, oh, so amazing. Um, for other people, not so much, especially non-pipe smokers. Uh, they find it too overwhelming, way too strong. Um, and it has a strong, gives off a strong room note to it. Um, it's more, definitely more enjoyable for the person smoking it. Uh, some people, other pipe smokers, might enjoy the room note because it's a lot of potent Balkan and Latakia um, flavors in the air. But for the non-pipe smoker, they're not going to appreciate the smell. They more or less will label it a stench. <laughs> um, yes, it, it does soak into your clothes too, this. It's, there's a lot to it. There's a lot of body, a full, full body. And it just soaks into your clothes and you're carrying it with you. This is not the type of tobacco you want to be smoking uh, every day. But it is like a special after supper. It's a treat. Definitely a treat. Um, what else can I say about it? All I know is in 15 years of me pipe smoking, to come across this was uh, a gem. It reinvigorated, say, uh, my love affair for pipes and pipe tobacco. Because 15 years ago, there wasn't the selection you get now. And people now getting into pipe smoking don't appreciate how it is right now. Because 15 years ago, there was a lot of great stuff going on. But not to the extent of what you see. That uh, really people are pushing the boundaries and really trying to take advantage of what's going on when it comes to the love affair of pipe smoking and pipe tobacco and this whole YouTube community. And it's just great. So Mississippi River, when it came out, I thought it was a great thing for the everyday smoker, but I'm not that guy. I'm the guy that likes to treat the weekend warrior smoker. And this just changed it for me. Just, I was hooked. Amazing. I can't say enough good things about this. But I mean, it possibly won't be for everybody. I mean, you have to be an English lover, a Balkan lover, and this is a hybrid. It's a mixture of the two with other things mixed in with it, with Perique. And uh, I can't say enough good things about it, but it's definitely not for everybody. I would say give it a try. If you're an English lover or a Balkan lover, try this out. It, it has to be one of the ones you need. You need to try this. I can't say that enough. You have to try it. Um, what else can I say about it? I hear a woodpecker right now. I don't know if you picked that up right now. As I'm talking, the woodpecker is judging me. How dare you? <laughs> so anyways, try it. Flavor, five out of five. Uh, tin note for a pipe smoker who loves English and Balkan, they're going to say five out of five. I guarantee you. Somebody who's not a pipe smoker or more into Virginia's is going to be probably a little bit put off by just the the aroma that punches you in the face as soon as you open a tin a fresh tin um aging it i i don't really like to age it i have aged um some like the one in my pocket right now in a mason jar it's been aged it kind of mellows out the flavor mellows out the punch but that to me was my draw if you find it a little too overwhelming possibly you know what age it age it for two years put it in a mason jar put it aside and then come back to it and then see what you feel uh, I didn't much care for that I almost felt like I lost something special by aging it because it did mellow a bit and the bite in the the bite of the flavor I wouldn't say the bite of the heat but the bite of the flavor was a little bit diminished there is a bite from heat though I guarantee you you're gonna feel some heat it does burn uh, like I said quite warm um, what else can I say I'll say that's about it. Anyways, if you haven't tried this, 
Again, English lover, Balkan lover, uh, get this sucker right away. Unfortunately, it's not something easy for us Canadians to get a hold of. Even Mississippi River is another thing. We, we just can't get it here. Um, it's either smokingpipes.com or we have to figure something out. We have to make friends with somebody in the U.S. or we have a relative in the U.S. and ship it to them and they ship it to us. And it's just a big ordeal to get certain stuff. Because uh, if Smoking Pipes doesn't have it or um, Four Noggins or whatever, it goes on and on, uh, then we have a trouble getting it. And it seems like Pipes and Cigars will have exclusive rights to certain blends that we can't get here, which is a pain because they no longer ship to us. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Again, if you haven't tried this, please, please, please get a hold of it. Try it. You're going to love it. I can't say enough about it. It's just beautiful. Have a good one, guys. And talk to you later. Bye.